In this video, I'm going to talk about bonds and uh, how to calculate the return on a bond investment. Bonds are financial tools that can help governments and corporations raise money for their investments. So bond is a piece of document that simply says, I owe you. So there are three things that you need to know about the bond. The first one is the face value. When buyers buy bond, they pay the, the, the face value. The face value is the, is the amount that is written on the bond at the time that is issued. The second thing that you need to know about the bond is the maturity date, which actually means the expiration date. It is the date that buyers receive the face value uh, uh, of the bond. The third one is the interest that the issuer of the bond pays to the buyers of the bond. And it is called bond coupon and uh, it will be paid as fixed amount. It can be annually or semi-annually every six months. Some bonds allow the interest rate to be adjusted with the inflation rate. Some bonds can be converted to some common stock or other securities. The good thing about bond is the buyer of the bond doesn't need to wait until the uh, the maturity date and, and, and receive the, uh, his or her money. Buyers of the, the bond can sell the bond at any time before the maturity date. The price of a bond is dependent on the financial market and interest rate in the market. It can be higher or lower than the face value. If the interest rate in the market drops, then bond can be sold at a higher price than the face value. For example, if you buy a bond and in the, in the market the interest rate drops, you, you can sell your bond at a higher price than the face value because the bond has coupon, which means that you're going to receive fixed amounts of payments per year or per, uh, per, per six months. And these are fixed. If the interest rate in the market drops, your bond has higher value in the market. Usually, the issuer of the bond has to support or back the bond with some selected asset as collateral in case of bank bankruptcy. Bonds with higher level of risk pay higher interest rate. Uh, the interest rate has to be uh, reported nominally, but the interest can be paid on the semi-annual semi basis. Let's work on this example. Let's assume you're going to buy a bond that has the face value of $1,000 with a maturity date of 10 years that pays you $30 every six months. And you want to calculate the return on this investment. First, we draw the timeline. We are going to have 20 time intervals because uh, there are 10 years and each six months we are going to uh, receive $30. We are going to have $1,000 investment at the present time and we are going to receive $30 every six months which are going to be 20 payments of $30. And in the end we are going to receive the $1,000 of the face value of the bond. And we are going to calculate the return on this project. We write the equation, pre present value of the cost should be equal to present value of income. Present value of the cost is $1,000 that we pay for this investment at the present time and we are going to receive 20 payments of $30. And in the end of the 10th year, which is going to be the, the 20th period, we are going to receive the face value of $1,000. And then we have to solve the, this equation for uh, using the trial and error method or IRR function in Excel, which I'm going to explain in the next video. And we calculate the I as 3% per semi-annual. And then we need to calculate the nominal rate of return, which equals 2 multiply 3%, which will be 6% per year compounded semi-annually. So this investment of buying a bond at the present time at the price of $1,000 with the maturity date of 10 years 
and a coupon of uh, $30 being paid every six months is going to have the return of 6% per year compounded semi-annually. The 6% nominal rate of return that we calculated is also called yield to maturity or YTM. Now let's work on another example, old bond rate of return analysis. Let's assume person A buys a new bond that is explained in the previous example. And then this person wants to sell the bond after two years to the person B at $800. Calculate, let's calculate the rate of return in this investment for person B. So again, the first thing that we have to do is we have to draw the timeline. And here, because person A is selling the bond after two years to person B, we are going to have 16 periods of six months. Person B is buying the bond at the cost of $800. And person B is going to receive $30 every six months for 16 periods of six months. And the end of the eighth year, or 16th, six months, person B is going to receive the face value of $1,000. Please note that person B is buying the bond at $800, but is going to receive the face value of the bond at the end of the maturity date. And we write the rate of return equation, present value of cost equals present value of income. Uh, cost is going to be $800, and uh, person B is going to receive 60 payments of $30 every six months, and $1,000 in the end of the 16th period. And we calculate the rate of return for this investment using the trial and error technique or IRR function in Excel, which is going to be 4.82%. And again, this is per semi-annual period. We need to report that as the nominal rates per year. So we have to multiply it by 2. So we are going to get 9.64 per year compounded semi-annually. This is the return on this investment.